again, <laughs> Lucia. In order to represent a racially diverse campus such as this one, our leadership must reflect it. Do you agree or disagree with the statement and why? I definitely agree. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel that because our campus is diverse, we need, we need that representation in positions of power. How do you expect people who don't understand where you're coming from to represent you? You know, like you need a diverse group of people because that's where the understanding comes and that's where the communication also comes. So I definitely agree with that statement. Sinead Kennedy with Open People's Party. Uh, I definitely agree with that statement. I think it's very important to have a diverse leadership. And um, it's important because people form different opinions based on their backgrounds, how they're brought up. And those opinions and those differing views really uh, matter when you're focusing on issues such as diversity on this campus. And I think it's very important to have that diversity in the leadership. UCSB is a very diverse um, campus and it's really important that the leadership reflects this diversity and since we are elected officials it's important that we speak to the students that voted for us and make sure that we understand what they need and so in terms of racial diversity we have to reach out and in our um, slate is very diverse and that's why we have the tools to reach these populations so vote students party thank you. I think a diverse leadership is important, and I think that in the past UCSB has had that, and especially in recent years, and I think that it, it has shown because certain groups have been getting more attention and they've been getting what they need, so I think we should continue that. Uh, Jenny Visa, Students Party. I would agree with Ingrid that we have uh, a diverse campus, but I think that that's something that we could increase the diversity on this campus, and by having a slate like Students Party with full of people from different backgrounds and racial um, identities, that we can help create a more safe space for students to uh, have better representation, so students feel like they have a voice because they know that someone is representing their differences in racial identities. Jenny Beeson, Students Party. Once again, I'm Rachel Lorenz. Um, absolutely, I believe that um, the leadership needs to represent a diverse um, group of people um, because people need to know that they're not being marginalized or silenced in student government, um, in the university, in decisions that are being made um, at the school. And I think it's necessary for growth and change. Um, and I also know the value of di um, the importance of diversity coming from a really diverse high school, um, something I've really missed, and I definitely know the value in it, so, yeah. I definitely agree with that statement, as I think we all will, but uh, diversity is something that UCSB is not historically known for, and that is a problem that needs to be addressed and fixed. Programs like SIOP, our Student Initiated Outreach Program, really help with that. Uh, also, diversity can be increased just by increasing people's awareness of programs within like the Multicultural Center and other various programs that go on. As a multiracial person, I know that seeing other people around, it can be a little intimidating, but it's definitely something that can be fixed with the right people. Jessica Hurd and OPP. Hi, um, I'd also like to agree that diversity is important in leadership roles. Um, but I do believe just because you're from a certain group, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're the best representative for them. Um, although, like, I look completely why I'm Hispanic, I completely support all, like, Hispanic groups here. And I just think that um, you not only need a racially diverse group, but a group of people who um, are involved in a diverse group, diverse groups throughout campus. I believe diversity is especially important just because you can show everyone everything about the world. It's education, it's, it ranges from my name, Hussein. Not many people are used to having go to school with someone named Hussein, especially they're like, hey, are you that one? And I'm like, no. But um, <laughs> it's just this diversity, they're better understanding me as a Middle Eastern person as being someone named Hussein, knowing that I'm not necessarily a terrorist. So that just 
lowers their, it makes them more aware people. Hello, my name is Iris Hanu again, running with OPP for Off Campus Rep. Um, I feel that leadership um, diversity is extremely important because how is a non-diverse leadership position not going to represent a diverse community? Um, and we need to bring diversity here to UCSB because it's not known. It's one of the UC campuses that doesn't have the most diversity at all. So um, I just think more groups um, so that we can all learn about each other and just it, it'll be great. So. Um, I too agree that diversity is very important on this campus and in leadership roles. Um, if you take a look at all of us, we you can see many ethnicities and we are such diverse that we need to bring this to this campus. Um, diversity, by supporting groups, I believe we will be supporting diversity on this campus and bringing it more, which is what we need. Patrick Cahill running with Students Party. Uh, I'd like to say that more broadly speaking, uh, the root of a lot of conflict in the world uh, can be drawn back to misunderstandings and by increasing our diverse student population, uh, hopefully we can reduce those misunderstandings and, and create a safer and more comfortable community for everybody. So it's, it's critical, I think. Um, I'm Patrick Cahill with Students Party. Hi, I'm Ingrid Avison, and I'm with Students Party. Um, so diversity is off. Diverse representation is obviously an issue that Students Party wants to address and will address. We've gone through a civil rights movement, but we're not a perfect society, and we're not done. Everyone needs to realize that this is a safe place for everyone from every background. And as Students Party, and as myself and my own will, and all the people here, obviously, we're going to do our best and to make outreach possible and I'm getting the stop sign so go diversity. <laughs> this question is for each of the candidates and I'll start with Sinead. As a student, how do you feel about campus initiated fees such as the student health fee, CLAS fee, etc.? Do you feel students should have to pay extra for these services or do you believe the burden should fall on the university? I think Excuse me. I think that it should be um, part of the tuition because students are using these programs and if they're not, they should be because CLAS is an extremely wonderful program and it's something that I think everyone should take advantage of and um, although I don't think people should be able to, I mean, should be paying a horrendous amount for this, it is something that everyone's responsible for and you can um, go to these programs so I think it's important that everyone takes advantage of what they're paying for. Um, Liz, Buda, Liz Buda with Students Party. While it would be ideal for the university to take care of all these fees, such as the student health fee, it just isn't realistic and they're not using their money pro properly. And for us to receive these resources, we have to pay for them and they're extremely important. I work at Student Health, for example, and a lot of the fees go towards like mental health um, programs and the, those are extremely important. And without us paying for them, then they wouldn't even exist. I believe that the fees that are being charged for student health and CLAS are very necessary and much, look much needed. And I don't think that many students look down on them. I know that a lot of the, a lot of the people I know use CLAS, they use student health, and the small contribution they make makes it very possible for everyone to use it. And I think that's very important. Party. I think that something um, that we all have to keep in mind is that there's a difference between educational fees, which we have no control over, and the reg fees that are things that pay for the resources like CLAS and uh, student health, which are resources for students that students are voting on for lock-in fees, um, that we decide that we need these things because the, our government isn't paying for them, our governor isn't paying for them. And so we decided they're important, Jenny Beeson Students Party. 
Rachel Lorenz. Um, I definitely agree that um, they are necessary. I've looked at the numbers myself, and they're not a lot. They're from like 75 cents quarter lock and fee to you know a dollar fifty, um, and there are definitely things that students use and need to be um, able to use, such as CLAS and health. Um, and people should know that these services are available. So I think that um, education about them is really necessary as well. Hi, Jessica Hurd and OPP. Uh, I think that campus lock-in fees are really important to help make sure that the campus runs smoothly. Student organizations really rely on them for their budgets and their funding, and without them, a lot of the programs and activities that we see around wouldn't even exist. Uh, things like SRB is what our money went to, and that was a student-requested building. And so CLAS services and student health services that are offered in places like that are really beneficial to everyone on the campus as a whole. Thank you. Um, Molly Caitlin Lenahan, OPP. Um, I also agree campus initiated funds are really important. Um, but students just need to know that they are available to them. A lot of students don't know about it and we need to educate them and let them know like, you are paying into this, it's available, use it. But most importantly, it's not only that, students need to be able to vote on where their funds are going and as representative, we need to let them have that say. Um, for example, the parking issue, um, I personally think that students, it should have been on the ballot and students should have had a say on if um, that happened or not. Getting stop sign, sorry. Hi, I'm Hussein from OPP. Uh, I support student uh, campus initiated fees. Uh, all I believe is that they should be really transparent in where we're spending our money. This goes back to uh, fiscal responsibility and transparency throughout AS, but this is like the students should really know where the, their money is going, especially because if they're voting on this themselves, I'm sure they want to know where it's going and they need this. Um, I feel that student um, initiated or campus initiated fees um, are extremely important because um, the campus, uh, the university can't pay for everything. Um, we pay to be here, um, so therefore, we should be paying for our services. Um, it could be split down the middle how we pay for it, but um, I just feel that if we're paying for it, we need to know how to use it, and the, I think the issue here is that we don't know how to use it. Um, we don't know what's available, and we're paying for it, and we need to know what's available, so let's educate people. Hi again, my name is Anna Contreras with OPP. And I believe that these fees are necessary because student health is a wonderful uh, place. Uh, it gives so much, so many opportunities and it, it allows for students to come in with any health issues that they have. And then CLAS is a wonderful program. Um, I've used it every single quarter, two quarters, three quarters that I've been here. And it's wonderful. It's helped me through classes. Um, I definitely believe that we need to inform and educate the students on what they're paying for. Absolutely. I think we also have to, um, yeah, exactly, make things transparent, uh, available. I'm just reading off my notes now. But it's, it is important for students to know what they're paying for. I think that if it wasn't paid for collectively, we students would have a hard time paying for it by themselves and probably wouldn't be as motivated to use them. But they're good programs and and I think we definitely ought to support them. Um, so I'm Patrick Cahill, Vote Students Party. Hi, I'm Ingrid Davison. I'm running with Students Party. Um, with agreement um, with what Jenny said, the students vote on these fees and the students benefit. The students are the ones who get help in class, so they pass it. The students are the ones who can go to health and, you know, get those benefits as well. And education on how these um, these are let out to the students is, in, like, in very important. So we benefit, we vote, we should know where it's going. Thanks. Students party. <laughs> Ideally, I would like to see the educational fees going into paying and funding these programs, but since unfortunately our governor isn't really supporting things like this, there has to be some other way to pay for it. And if that means that we have to pay for it, then yeah, I'm down for that because like everyone said, these programs are really beneficial for people and somehow they, gotta, they have to be funded. So, both students party. 
question is directed to all of the candidates, and I'll start with Liz. What do you feel is something you can learn from the other candidates? I think we all, I'm Liz Buda from Students Party. And I think we all come from diverse backgrounds, from different groups, and I think that's really important because leadership has to be representative of the population they represent. And so if we look around here, I've learned so much from the people in my slate in terms of diversity issues, in terms of um, just even educational issues that I wasn't even aware of. And I think we should really work at learning from each other, no matter what slate we're from. I'm Mike Levitson, and uh, I think that we can learn from everyone's views who's a candidate because sometimes we don't think of what another person's viewpoint until we hear it. And by hearing other people's views, you can better defend your own, you can, better, you can make better decisions, and you yourself can become a better candidate for the people. And that's what I think the goal is. Party. I think that what we can learn from each other um, is that we, it can't be all one-sided. Every different person on AS represents a different viewpoint on campus, and that's important for everyone to know that um, they're there and to see the differences and to learn how to work together to make compromises and make a bridge between all the different viewpoints. Jenny Beeson, Students Party. Once again, I'm Rachel Lorenz, um, and I think that um, the main thing I can learn from other um, candidates is just more about UCSB and more about groups on campus. There's so many groups, there's so many clubs, there's so many committees um, that are all really important. So I think that um, we can all learn a lot more about UCSB um, and different viewpoints from those groups and clubs, um, et cetera. AS is the Associated Student Board. That means students from both sides and students who do all different kinds of activities. Representatives are required to work in programs and activities so that they can purposely educate the other people. So anybody here that would be elected would be able to diversify their own knowledge of the inner workings of the campus and the diversity of our community and be able to better educate the other students, not just within uh, this com these committees, but within the university itself. And we can all learn from each other and work together to form something that's a little more cohesive that applies to everyone. Thank you. So the best decisions anyone can make in a group is having a diverse and very, very large group. So having a large group of people, we can all learn different sides of a situation, learn it from different um, ethnic racial backgrounds, learn it from different groups on campus and what they want. And I think by having such a large group of people who are involved in so many different things, we can learn from each other what's most important for different groups of students in UCSB, and we can put that all together to make the best cohesive um, solution to whatever the problem is that is at hand. Thank you. And here I thought I knew everything, but the most important thing, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> the most important thing though is group work, teamwork, and leadership is what I can really learn from my peers because this is a stepping stone in my book that it's a very important stepping stone, don't count me wrong, but I want to continue on with my leadership skills go into Congress, go into become a senator in the future. And through this, I can really learn to be an effective team worker, lobby for important uh, issues, and be a, an effective leader. Hi, I'm Iris again, OPP. Um, I think if we all just take a step back and stop focusing on like, oh my gosh, I want to win, here's my boards are up, vote for me, and just like stop for a second and listen to the other side, listen to what the other side has to say, listen to what everyone else has to say, that's why we're here. We're not here to fight against each other and do stuff like that and like hate on each other. We're here to like listen to everyone else so that we can better this university. That is what we're here for, that's what we're trying to do. We're here to represent the students. Thank you. Uh, Anna Contreras with OPP. Um, I first got involved because I really wanted to meet new people and see what everybody else had to say. Um, and so far, I feel that I have. Um, I've met so many people, and I've. They all have so many different. Like they have different viewpoints, but. And if I don't agree with them, then you know we can sit down and talk, and then like you know this is what I think. And I'm like, oh okay. So um, 
I think we all have so much to learn from each other and we can bring that into working together. Again, kind of universally speaking, um, by working together and not against each other we, and to achieve certain goals, we're really learning the principles of selflessness, which I think is the antithesis of selfishness, which is the root of all problems. So I think that by working together, um, I don't know, we're working towards a brighter future. Yeah. Uh, vote Students Party. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ingrid Davison with Students Party. So I think that, yeah, we have a lot of diversity. If you just take a look at the pe everyone sitting here today. And I think that if you just look at everyone and learn from each other, you realize that you have a lot more in common than you really thought you did to begin with. And it's important in realizing that in holding all students accountable when making decisions on campus. So no one gets left behind and you can work towards goals that satisfy every single student on campus. Vote Students Party. Thank you. I think we all have a lot to share. I mean, you out there, us up here, like, I mean, we're talking about sharing knowledge, sharing our minds. And if you put all of it together, like, we can go a long way. So. I mean, you know, like if I if I didn't know how to, you know, handle some a certain issue, maybe, you know, maybe the person next to me does. So it's all about collaborating and working together to to change things and uh yeah, both students party. Sinead Kennedy, OPP. And I think this brings it back to the diversity um, in leadership because I'm going to want a point of view from many different people. If someone from a frat comes in requesting money, um, I'm going to want the point of view of someone in a frat on um, ledge council because I'm going to want to see how they feel about this and maybe they can help sway my opinion and I can like get a personalized view on it. Um, and I also think it's important for everyone to kind of get to know each other and so there's no um, crazy arguing going on on Ledge Council. This concludes the question and answer portion of the forum. Now I'd like to give each candidate 30 seconds for a closing statement and we will start with Mike. <coughs> Again, I'm Mike Libitson. I'm running independently. I think that if, you, if I'm elected, I can honestly be more open to everyone's opinion around campus. I want to be able to speak for the people who aren't represented on AS, the engineers and the science majors. I'm a mechanical engineer, and I want to be, I want to involve that side of campus. It just seems that they're never spoken for, they never speak up, I would like to be there for them. Jenny Beeson, running with Students Party. I think that I would like to represent all the different diverse voices on this campus and be able to work for the students off campus and our issues in the Isla Vista community, but also work on issues that are important to us in Associated Students, making Associated Students a better place for uh, students to work in and make it uh, easier for students to become involved, to use the money and the resources that we've worked so hard already to have. So vote Jenny Beeson, Students Party. Once again, I'm Rachel Lorenz. Um, I'm not running with a party, um, but I'm running for the students. Um, and if you want your voice heard, if you haven't felt like it's been heard um, this year, as I have, um, in UCSB and in student government, um, please vote for me and we can make this happen this year, next year. Thank you. My name is Jessica Hurd and I'm running with OPP. And I want to really help increase everybody's awareness within AS of all the programs and activities we do because there's just so much opportunity that students just don't know about. They don't know where their money's going. They don't know that they can help sit on Ledge Council. There were a lot of people that didn't know they could apply to be up here today to represent people's views and values. And that's something that needs to be changed and it can be changed. Off-campus problems are prevalent and 
30 seconds is not enough time to go into them. But you know what they are and you know they exist and I really want to help fix them. So vote Jessica Hurd and OPP for off campus. <laughs> Hi, I'm Molly Kate Linehan for Open People's Party. I just wanted to reiterate the importance of getting students' voices out there and making sure that they're represented and that they have a say in what's going on. And the only way they're going to be able to have a say in what's going on is if they know what's going on. And so we really need to make sure that we're, that, like we said, we're, um, that they're knowledgeable, that they're well informed, and most importantly, that we're fiscally responsible with the money that they are giving us. I want to make sure that it really does, like we really do make changes in Isla Vista in the next year. And since we are paying so much into all this stuff, we need to make sure that the groups in on the campus also get that money. Thank you. Vote Molly. OPP. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hussein from OPP again. And uh, for a closing statement, let's see. I might need a minute for this one. But um, I believe that I'm here representing the students and I want to represent their opinions, their views. You just got to know me over this debate. I think you should have more time. Please feel free to approach me at any time. And next year, if you vote me, I'll definitely have office hours if you want to come. <laughs> but um, I'm here for the students. I want to represent you. I want to support your rights. I'm here for fiscal transparency, AS transparency and getting uh, educated about AS and UCSB. Thank you very much. Vote. Hi, I'm Iris Hanu, running for off-campus rep with OPP. I just want to say that if elected, I want to be the resource that um, students can come to when they need something. And I can tell them, like, this is what you can do, and this is how we can help you. This is what AS can do for you. Um, I, I feel that a lot of people are not informed about what's going on, as everyone says. No one's like they feel no one is informed so we need to work on communication between people between AS and the students because we work for the students so vote Iris Hanu for OPP off-campus rep hey, once again um, I'm Anna Contreras with OPP and if elected I want to educate and let students know um, what there is available on this campus and I feel that the students and I we both still need to learn a little bit more about campus and I feel like I want to go through that with them and I will be there to support them. Once again, I'm Patrick Cahill, uh, running for off-campus rep of Students Party. Uh, and I guess my closing statement, I'd like to say that it is important, it's most important that we inform students about AS and about what we do. And that way students can get involved and build a stronger, more cohesive community. Uh, and I want to work on standing up for students who are taken advantage of by greedy landlords in Isla Vista and see that money is not wasted um, you know, within our budget as AS. If you want to learn more about me or what I stand for, Facebook me. Thank you. Vote for Students Party. Students Party. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ingrid Avison running with Students Party. So I've heard a lot about educating the students, and I completely agree with that. I've heard a lot about um, tenants' rights, I've heard a lot about parking, and I've heard a lot about that. But what I haven't heard is environmental awareness. And that is what I'm very passionate about. And it needs to, the, the students of UCSB need to realize that this is a place of sustainability, and it will be here in 100 years when we're not here for our children, for our grandchildren, to have the same experiences that we're able to have right now. Thank you. Students party. Hey, I'm Lucia Diaz, running with Students Party. And to me, being an off-campus representative isn't just holding office hours and waiting for students to come see me. It's taking the initiative to go out to the students and asking them what their issues are, what their concerns are, and addressing them. So, you know, vote for me. I'm going to do the best I can to go out, reach out. And I definitely am really passionate about fighting against the educational fee increases and to further diversify UCSB through outreach programs. So vote Students Party. Sinead Kennedy, Open People's Party, and I believe that I would do a good job in this position because I have a lot of um, work with RHA and I know how student government runs. I'm currently the president of San Nick and now I want to move on to campus-wide issues through AS 
and I believe I represent a lot of people and even though I may have differing views of people such as a student's party, I still like them and so I'm able to like and represent a lot of people. So yeah. We like you too. Okay, again, I'm Liz Buda. We don't live in a perfect community and our campus isn't perfect, but we've discussed issues about fiscal transparency, about parking, about fees, and about diversity, and we really need to reach out. And so it's really important that we, the students, get our voice heard. So vote for the group that will hear your voice and vote Students Party. So. This concludes our forum. I'd like to thank all of the candidates and the audience for coming out today. We will return in a couple minutes with the second half of the off-campus representatives.